Happy holidays everyone and welcome back for the final holiday video of 2021. In our family it is traditional to have a pork on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So what better time to make the Yopi roast from the Star Wars Holiday Cookbook. The ingredients are very few. I have a three pound pork loin roast, one sprig of rosemary, three tablespoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of paprika, black pepper, and salt, and five garlic cloves that I've gone ahead and minced up. And those are all of the ingredients. The first thing we need to do is take our rosemary and set it to the side. And I'm going to add my garlic into my bowl of spices and sugar. And then simply mix all of these together. Now that we have our dry rub mixed together, I've gone ahead and lined a cookie sheet with aluminum foil and then placed a wire rack on top which I lightly sprayed with cooking spray and the first thing I'm going to do is flip this over and start spreading our dry rub across the bottom be sure to spread it evenly make sure you do the sides as you're working your way around towards the top don't forget to do both ends as you're doing your sides and now that I have the sides and bottom coated, I'm going to go ahead and transfer that over to my wire rack. And I'm going to go ahead and use the remainder of my dry rub right across to the top. Now that I have the dry rub all over our roast, I'm going to go ahead and place my rosemary sprig across the top. And this is going to go into a 400 degree oven where it's going to cook for roughly one hour or until a thermometer registers 145 degrees in the thickest part of our roast. The Yopi roast is out of the oven and I did allow it to sit and rest for about 15 minutes tinted with some aluminum foil just to allow all those juices to redistribute throughout the entire roast. All we have left to do is give it a try and see what we think about it. I will say my house has smelled absolutely incredible as this was cooking and I can't wait to get in here and try a bite of it. The roast turned out incredible. I love all the flavors that are going on in the dry rub. I didn't really think the rosemary added did too much, but it did create a lovely smell while this was roasting in the oven. The meat is moist and tender, exactly the way I like my pork roast, and I will definitely be making this recipe again. If you guys would like to be part of the Gamers and Geeks playlist, leave me a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to tell you how you can become a part of that list. Speaking of the playlist, be sure to go and check out the link I provided down in the description to it so you can help support all the fine creators that have helped make that list possible. If you guys have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. From my family to yours, I hope you had the happiest of holidays. And as always, I've been Vault Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.